Good evening and salutations, my Days of Alas fans. So, um, before I get started, good news is that, um, I know my reviews have been coming out pretty late, and it had a lot to do with the Wi Fi. And, um, well, I kind of forgot that I actually have two Wi Fi's. Um,. So I have one Wi-Fi that I mainly use for the house as far as like my internet and tablets and PlayStation and everything like that and some stuff that my dad uses. So it tends to get a lot slower. And I forgot that when I first got Cablevision, I called him up to pretty much kind of tell him that the Wi-Fi sucked and complained and complained and complained. And finally they set me up with some sort of like backup Wi-Fi that will go a lot faster. I never really used it that much because, I don't know, my phone was acting up at the time. But, um, well, this whole weekend I've been using my other Wi-Fi and things have been going smoothly, so, fingers crossed, but I think this will solve at least that problem. Now, with that being said, um, Christ almighty. Yep. It's Chad, cause um, Jesus Christ, this guy, this guy, I don't know if he's supposed to be a character that you love to hate, but for me, he just comes across as a character that will get out of pocket, and I would literally want to sit there and just bash his head into a wall, like repeatedly, like 15, 20 times. Just to see if you can just stand up straight after that. I, I, I just... Uh, I really don't like this character. Jesus Christ. I actually like Philip more. And that's saying something. But, uh, yeah. So he comes in. You know, he knocks on the door. And, yeah, okay, I get it. He sees Abby. He sees Jake without his shirt off. And, yeah, I get... I get him being upset, but he just comes in and he starts yelling and yelling at her and yelling at him and just yelling. And I'm like, bro, is this, is this normal? Now, earlier, a couple episodes before, you know, she was there saying something along the lines of, well, you know, we have kids and stuff. And I was like, um, no, 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 no. We're not using the whole, well, we have kids together, so we sit there and really try to make the, you know, like, work it out or whatever. Like, I, I have an adamant problem with people that try to stay together for the sake of, quote unquote, the kids. Because in reality, what you're doing is, well, they'll be off, a, they'll be better off them being separated or, or people being separated than to be in this toxic marriage, this toxic relationship because people underestimate kids and they make them seem like they're stupid and they don't understand what's going on and they clearly do um, and it, it really does mess them up a lot more than people think. So whenever they use the excuse of, oh well you know I'm just going to sit there and try to work it out for the kids, it's like no. No, 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 no. Just stop. That just aggravates me to the 10th power. Um, but yeah, he's just, oh, being an asshole. Like, overtly, like, over the top. It got to a point where it got so bad, because he was like, oh, well, you know, you had this receipt, and, you know, you booked this hotel, and you're sleeping, you know, you're doing this under my roof, and yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, um, is it? Now, and then quote me if I'm wrong. Is it just his roof? Like, is it just, like, solely his house? Because I don't think it is. I'm pretty sure Gabby actually owns or have some ownership in the house. So, him being all man-child talking about, Oh, it's my house, yada, yada, yada. It's like, oh my god, I want to punch this guy in the face. But I don't think you're entirely correct about that. But sure, whatever. Um, It got so bad that... Abby was like, you know, um, Jake, you need to leave. Because Jake was like, yo, bro, come on, let's, let's go. Like, you want, you want, you want hands? You want hands on you? Because we can, we can go. Um, 
But, you know, Abby was like, you know, just leave and let me just talk to him. Let me just kind of settle things. I was like, whoa, 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 why the hell does he actually have to leave his room? I don't know, maybe that just bothered me more than it should because, you know, Chad was just, well, just being an asshole. But, um, that just bothered me. I was like, um, why is he leaving? Y'all have, like, what, 15, 20, 20 rooms? You, you two can't pick another room to sit there and, okay, whatever, fine. So he leaves and, you know, mind you, by the way, let's just kind of keep this in perspective for a minute. Um, and I get it, he was drunk. And whatever but it's not like he doesn't have a lot of dirt under his fingernails also like not that long ago or less than 24 hours you, you practically had sex with Gwen and you want to sit there and start being all mad and you know beating your chest and like are you serious so they start talking and at some point you know Gwen no um Chad's like oh well Gwen saw you kissing and Gwen Gwen heard you um doing this and 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 that and you know when she mentioned the kissing part Abby was like what so you know they bring up the articles and of course you know the the, the reason behind that is because research okay sure um but they're like you know Abigail was like you know what let's let's just find Gwen let's just settle this so kind of gonna get to a we're gonna get to that point but um why the hell did Jack not actually, like, escort her off the property? So, you know, Gwen walks in the room, and this is when, um, you know, Jack is looking through these files of hers. And Gwen is all like, oh, I see you, you know, sneaking through my room, sneaking through my stuff. I was like, um, I get that that's your stuff, but that's technically not your room. You don't own any of this. I don't... <laughs> I mean, seriously, I feel like some of these people are just really delusional. But, um, you know, Jack is like, what are you doing all this stuff? And, you know, Gwen was all like, oh, well, you're a news person. You know, you, you do research. You know, I'm just, you know, doing my homework before I, you know, decide I want to work for you people, you know. And then that's when, um, you know, Jack is like, so, all right, fine. I'm not even going to get on that because that's just creepy enough. But whatever. You lied to me. You told me that you were Smith the champion for me when when Jennifer and Jennifer said that you were doing the exact opposite. And Gwen was like, oh well maybe she's got a fax wrong. I was like, uh no, she's been she's been in the news game for years. She she just she doesn't she doesn't get facts wrong like that. So um what's going on? So you talk a little bit and you know, you know, Gwen throws up, you know, oh, you know, you have been uh you know, you've been a bad boy and you know, your history, you know, your past is very sketchy and stuff like that. And at this point, I'm just like, um, why are we not calling Abigail to get this out the house? Why are we not doing that? And at some point, Jack is just like, oh, well, I'm going to get to the bottom of this. And he walks off. I was like, um, bro, you, you're, you're walking the wrong way. You should be, you should be on your phone calling Abigail to kick this chick out. But okay, sure, whatever. Let's just... Let's just keep the plot going. I'm not going to lie. I said this on Friday. And thank you for the people that watched. Because the Wi-Fi. Anyway. Um, I was just like. I wonder what kind of mental gymnastics. Is she actually going to sit there and try to pull out her. You know what. To um, you know. Explain why she has all those news articles. And like you know. Just really explain herself. And I was like. That wasn't really a viable explanation. I mean. I felt like if I was. Jack, I would have been like, yo, I don't trust you. And Jack doesn't trust her. But you just walk out the house for what reason? So anyway, at some point, um, one second. I was like, where the hell's my damn water at? So at some point, um, you know, Abigail and Chad walk downstairs. And, um... You know, Abigail was like, so, um, what's, what's going on with this stuff? What, uh, you saying that, um, you saw me and, and Jay kissing? So, so you, you, that's what you saw? Is that, is that is that what you want to put on the record? And, you know, Gwen is like, no, I didn't. I lied. I guess at this point, th there really was no way of finagling herself out of that one. Yet, anyway. Um... 
at least with that particular part. But um, she was like, yeah, I lied. And, you know, Abigail's like, well, why, why'd you lie for her? And I don't remember what she said. But at some point, you know, Chad's like, oh, well, you know. I thought that you was doing, you were, you will, you know, if, if I known that this wasn't the truth, then, and Abigail's like, what? No, 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 share with the classroom. What, speak up. If you didn't know, what wouldn't you have done? I, the whole time, I'm just like, this, mm, I'm like, the whole time he is just yelling and pumping his chest. And, uh, I'm like, bro, you literally... I mean, besides the fact that he was just acting like an a-hole, um, you're a hypocrite. I mean, you're a liar also, but you're a hypocrite. And I, I really can't stand that. I really can't stand that. Um, anyway, I can go on and on about that scene and Chad just being a dick, but um, let's jump over to Kate and Jake. Um, so Jennifer and Kate had a discussion. We find out the reason... Um, you know, why um, Kate was so hesitant about really moving forward in public with um, Jake. And it's because of her age, you know. And yeah, she's she's dated younger men before, but it's probably not a good track record and people talk and they gossip and she just didn't want all that smoke, okay? That's just what it came down to. She didn't want all of it. So that's why she was, you know, apprehensive about it. And I'm not going to lie. I kind of was like... And granted, I don't know Kate. I haven't watched the show that long. But I was like, so so what's the real reason? I mean, you, you really going to make me wait till Monday? So I was, I'm not going to lie, I was on pins and needles. I was like, all right, so so what's the reason? And that's, that's why. And, you know, Jennifer was just like, you know, you just got to get over yourself. They're going to say mean things. Move on. Is Jake worth it? So at some point, Jake um, finds um, Kate to give her a heads up about the whole chat thing. Because, you know... Heaven forbid somebody actually disappoints Chad. <sighs> um, anyway, Jennifer leaves and they talk and, you know, Jacob's like, well, you know, you could just tell Chad that we're not seeing each other and we're good. And that's when, you know, that's when, um, I'm not going to lie, that sound just kind of threw me off. Man, that was kind of loud. Um, what was I saying? Um, so that's when, you know, Kate was like, you know, listen, I don't want us to be over and I want us to still be a thing. And, you know, she tells him the real reason why, you know, about the whole age difference. And, you know, she asks, you know, if you still want to, you know, pursue whatever this is. And, you know, Jake kisses her. And so that means yes. And pretty sure people in the comment section are probably not going to be happy about that. Um, I don't know. I can't, here's the thing. Well, personal information. I, I guess it's kind of hard to see it from Kate's point of view, from Jake's point of view. I've been in that situation before when I dated an older woman. So it's kind of hard, you know, when he was like, well, you know, it's not that big of a deal. And, you know, like, so what, you know, like, as far as like the age difference is, is whatever, you know, we can, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can say that, or at the time, I could have said that, but it's different from her perspective, you know, in society. And I'm not going to lie, this kind of sucks a little bit. You know, it's okay. Well, it's not really... It's the norm for an older man to date a younger woman. But when it's the reverse, it's apparently, like, wrong and all sorts of other things. And it's all icky and yucky and whatever. And it sucks. Um, it's just double standards that I, I don't really like. Um, but, yeah. So, um, what else happened in this episode? Charlie. You know, here's the thing about Charlie. Charlie would make a really great villain. I would sit there and say that he's almost a perfect villain. Except for the whole rape thing. That's 
that's the only thing that's stopping me from being like, you know what? He is really shaking things up. Like, I am really liking him as a villain. Oh, yeah, the whole rape thing. Yeah, yeah that, that's, yeah. You know, and it's just like, if it wasn't for that, then I was just going to be like, you know what? Let's, let's, let's kind of see where he's going to go. You know, I can't, I can't imagine rooting for Charlie at this point. I just, I can't. And the sad thing is, because of what Ava did, I can't even sit there and be like, oh man, that so sucks, you know, like Ava, you know, is going to be all drugged and doped up and, you know, it's like, you, you did the exact same thing that, that your son did. You're, you're both bottom of the barrel people, so, like, whatever. But with that being said, um, yeah, so Charlie's plan is to get her committed, get her all doped up, apparently he's been feeding her these pills for weeks, um, or for a couple of days, you know, through, like, her food or whatever, so he, he's pretty much got her all doped up, um, so even if she tried to, like, form a sentence, she probably couldn't even do that, and yeah, um, now on the other side of town, Claire Bear is meant to talk about how perfect, um, Charlie is, cause, you know, he could do no wrong, and Ali's just being there, just being a supportive friend, nothing really majorly interesting about that, um, it's kind of amazing that her memory, her memory only started, here's the interesting part. So at some point, Charlie decides to meet up with Claire. And, you know, Charlie has this confused and like shocked and a frightened look on his face when he sees Allie, you know, hoping that she doesn't remember. And somehow she still doesn't remember. Um, but at some point they're talking and I think... Charlie must have said some sort of phrase in French. And that's when Ali just had that look on her face like that. Like, whoa. You know, like, like, like something's starting to come back in. Um, like she's starting to remember something. And, you know, that's when Charlie just kind of freezes up. And it, I'm not going to lie, that, that kind of got interesting. Um, because I'm like... I, Listen, I've, I've talked in length about Allie and why I don't like her. Um, and this isn't even, I mean, granted, this isn't even just the, 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 the getting the wrong person or not really fully knowing 100% because that, you know, she was drunk. I just don't like her in general. But, um, you know, for the sake of the storyline, I'm just hoping that she starts to piece something together. I mean anything would help um and i guess we'll just wait and see what else oh um towards the end jack talked to jennifer and pretty much he was like you know going to something you know going is up to something like you know it may be worse than we thought so we got to kind of keep an eye on her i'm like um why even take chances like why take chances just get another nanny i don't understand what's so okay whatever um <laughs> Anyway, with that, that being said, I think that's actually going to do it. I don't think I really missed too much of anything else. And if I did, please write it down in the comment section below. Um, thank you for watching. I'm actually off tomorrow, so hopefully I can actually get up this review right after it um, airs. You know, hoping that there's no um, news interruptions. Yeah, hopefully my review will come out a lot earlier tomorrow. So with that being said, I'm going to go. Thank you so much for watching. Be safe. I will catch everyone in the next review. And I still cannot believe that I'm starting to like Philip more than Char more than Chad. <sighs> what a dick.